Hey guys, Hardy Aquariums here, and I want to show you how to do a fishless cycle using ammonia that you get from the store. When you buy your ammonia, you want to make sure it doesn't have any deodorizers or any other cleaning products mixed in. You want 100% pure ammonia. If you find ammonia that's green or yellow or orange, you know it's wrong because your ammonia should be clear. It's very inexpensive. I spent one dollar on this whole bottle. And the good thing is that you can use it later for cleaning your windows or bathroom or counters. And it should last for a long time. So when you look online, it's hard to find any information about how much ammonia per gallon. So like you know when you're dosing Excel or Prime it's like a cap full per 50 gallons uh, you can't really find any information like that about how much ammonia per gallon so what you have to do is take some ammonia I also got this at the dollar store this nice turkey baster and um, you kinda just have to guess so here we go, I'm just kind of dropping, <laughs> it was like two drops, dropping some in there. Here we go, I got a, uh, oh, spilling. These 99 cent turkey basters aren't the best. So, just pour some in there. That's probably enough. and I'll show you what to do next. After you put ammonia into your aquarium, give it some time so that the ammonia can cycle around and get mixed up within your water. Once it's good and mixed up, get out your test kit and test for ammonia. The ideal amount is 4 ppm. If you have a little less, that's okay. If you have a little more that's okay but if you have 8 ppm it'll take a longer time for your aquariums to cycle and you might get algae and it could just be not worth the trouble so if you have about 8 ppm or more um, I would recommend doing a partial water change if you have less than 4 add a little bit more ammonia and call it good Check out my tank while we wait. So here's my ammonia test. I'm thinking that's about 2 ppm, maybe a little more, kind of hard to tell, but I'm going to add a little bit more ammonia, and then I will do a retest and show you the results. So here's the first test, and here's the second test. I added maybe five more drops of ammonia and you can clearly see that this one is darker it's really close to 4 ppm I'm not gonna mess with it anymore that should be enough ammonia to get the cycle going um, don't put any fish in there that's why it's called a fishless cycle uh, no shrimp you can have some plants in there plants like ammonia and this should get you going on your cycle. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Put them in the comment section. And thank you for watching.